Today, September 28th, is a significant day for me, which I refer to as Reclaim Day. That's because on September 28th, 2015, I suffered a life-altering um, traumatic experience. And that day should have been a happy day for me and my family because um, we were taking my dad home um, after having successful back surgery. Um, but that day ended up turning out to be one of, if not the worst days of my life. It, it was a really hard day. If you're interested in more details about what happened that day, I posted it on my Facebook page um, because I wanted to focus more on what Reclaim Day means and what I'm, I'm thankful for on this thankful Thursday. I had experienced numerous traumas uh, before this one. Um, this, this trauma was like a whole different level. And one of the things that just happened, I, I don't know, I just refused to let this trauma define me. Um, I refused to have yet another victim or trauma story added on to all the bunch of other victim and trauma stories I had. So I decided to use alchemy and reclaim that day and make September 28th about me and reclaiming my power and not letting a trauma or a person take away that day from me or to let that experience take away me living a life of joy and happiness and pleasure and and you know not living in constant fear I had done so much that in my life and I didn't want to do that anymore and so I decided you know what I'm going to reclaim September 28th and make it my own and make it something more about the phoenix rising from the ashes instead of yet another victim story which you know, I, I just didn't want to do that anymore. And so I chose differently. I chose a new narrative and I chose to focus on what I could build upon and grow and evolve in my life. So one of the things I'm really thankful for in my 50s is that I reclaimed my power and did not let this life-altering traumatic experience define me or stop me from experiencing you know, joy and love and pleasure and, and you know, connecting with others and, and stepping out of my comfort zone. I wasn't going to live in fear. You know, I woke up this morning and I just was really, you know, proud of myself. And I was like, Steph, like I hugged myself and, you know, said, I'm proud of you. You didn't let this experience define you. Yes, you still have, I still have some issues and healing I'm working on because of that experience but overall um, it could have went really differently and I chose to reclaim that day and make it about me um, and my joy and so for all that I am thankful. <laughs>